That's the Arcals with My Heart's Always Yours. They're performing the hit single before the puck drops on Sunday at their first ever Centennial Classic. We love when he comes to visit. Nick Kiprios will also be on hand for the outdoor game between the Leafs versus the Red Wings. And he's joining us this morning. And he brought treats. He, you, you knew we needed energy to yes. get through this short work week, so we appreciate that. You look good. <laughs> you look great. How was your Christmas? It was good. It was, it was great. Uh, wife's family was in town. Yeah. Parents are from Florida, Gainesville, Florida. So Brothers they, from Seattle. From Seattle. So are they all visiting? Like, yes. are they going to attend at BMO Field this weekend? Yes. And based on the last election, I think they're moving in now. Oh, is that right? <laughs> so you're going to have to like expand the house right. a little left. Maybe east a little wing, bit. A little west Maybe a little wing. bit. We'll see. What can we expect come Sunday? Because it's interesting that you know New Year's Eve. There's all this hype around it. Sometimes people say. It's it's overhyped and these players have to come to play. Yeah. I mean, as a former player, what do they have to do or not do yeah. to be strong uh, on Sunday, New Year's Day? Stay in. Yeah. Uh, don't party. Uh, but I think we have as many as 11 games uh, New Year's Eve. Of course, uh, Hockey Night in Canada, we're back on air. We, we missed last Saturday for mm -hmm. Christmas Eve. Nice break. Uh, but we've got Pittsburgh and Montreal. Uh, we've got Vancouver and Edmonton in the 10 o'clock game. So it's business as usual for these guys. It's paramount that uh, they stick to their routine. They don't get caught up in the hype. And two points is up for grabs. The Leafs with a huge two points last night against mm -hmm. Florida Panthers. So although it's a different environment being outside, the most important thing for them is to win the game. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Do you think the Leafs have what it takes to actually pull off the win here? Or do you think Red Wings will come in strong? Well, it, first of all, the Red Wings are struggling. Uh, they're, they're, I think, second last in the Eastern Conference. So there's a real threat that they're going to miss the playoffs for the first time in 25 years. Wow. Um, and there is a little bit of buzz now with the Leafs uh, recent uh, run uh, especially uh, winning on the road that they can get back into a playoff position uh, they're currently I think seven points out of that spot but they've got three games in hand on Philadelphia who has one of the wild cards so all of a sudden with great goaltending that they're getting um, there is some talk that uh, maybe they can they can go into February and March in a, in a playoff position but they're gonna have to win Sunday okay. They're going to have to beat Detroit. What better way to pull off, like, it's the first day of the new year celebrating 100 years, commemorating 100 years yes. of the NHL, going into 150 years of Confederation for Canada. I mean, it's a big milestone year. I think there's no more of a Canadiana way to celebrate than to see a hockey game yeah. outside in the elements and enjoy. Yeah. Like, do you feel that hype? Because it, it started, this sort of started off the classics as something more like as yeah. novelty. There's no question. There's no question that there's such a demand for these outdoor games. And although... Uh, uh, the intrigue of it uh, on a national scale or even, you know, throughout North America, the, the early buzz was, I've got to watch this. Yeah. There, there's been many around. But once you get into the element, once the people uh, understand that it's, it's an event, mm -hmm. um, much like a Sunday football event where yes. you start when you wake up in the morning, you go, you bundle up, you're you're out. It's it's a it's a terrific time. I've I've covered almost uh, half a dozen of these. Uh, I've got to play in a couple of alumni outdoor and games. And a different vibe, right? Uh, yes, one that says don't don't play any more of these outdoor <laughs> games. You're too old. You're too slow. No way. We had Wendell Clark in yesterday. <laughs> well, Wendell's still great. An anomaly. Right? He's great. I. Brendan Shanahan's going to be wearing the and, red jersey. And Wendell thinks he's going to catch Brendan. Is yeah, that the deal? He said he's going to run him. Oh but yeah. He says he's got to catch him first, That's Wendell. Right. <laughs> he said he's probably been practicing. He's going to be. You know what? It'll me. be so much fun for these guys. <laughs> uh, the storytelling that goes on in the dressing rooms prior to going out on the ice. I, you should have. You should have a live camera in on those. They're just, just so much fun to listen to the guys. Uh, talk about uh, their experiences throughout their career. It's going to be a That's a brilliant idea. Time. That's the locker room talk that we want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That they, yes. they need to offer this as part of the extra package. On they cable. Have, on, on cable. cable. On cable. There needs to be exactly some mornings maybe before it, but there must be so much storytelling, yeah. right? Like nostalgia it's, from all the years on the ice. It is great. And, you know, some teammates you haven't seen in years, yet yeah. you get together and it's like you never left. You've never been apart. Yeah. So I know they're going to have a terrific time this weekend. Lots of Sportsnet coverage, including Ron McClain, who's doing yes, a really right. cool special, highlighting a lot of, you know, the amazing legendary players over yeah. the years. Oh, and, and Ron's great. Uh, we know how great he is at that storytelling. And sometimes I sit on the set and I'm just like, 
Oh, really? And I'm like, oh, I'm on. Okay. Seriously, because you that get in, good. you get lost in whatever he's saying because he's 100%. such a brilliant storyteller. As are you a wonderful, you know, anchor sportsman, and we love your wife. Thank you for bringing her yes. today. Another shout out to Ms. Anne Marie. She's just wonderful. And right now, because you guys are so lovely, we're going to do this. First of all, Sportsnet's outdoor classic coverage begins on New Year's Eve. If you didn't know, with Saturday's alumni game at 11:30. Then the 2017 Scotiabank NHL Centennial Classic featuring the Leafs versus the Red Wings is Sunday afternoon. Coverage for that starts at 2. And forget Vanna White. We have Devo Brown in town. Ready, Devo? Yeah. He's giving away this NHL pack from our friends at Rogers that includes <laughs> Work It, an autographed jersey. Let's see the back. An autographed puck. Yes. Enter through daily pricing at breakfasttelevision.ca. And remember, with Game Plus, Rogers customers get exclusive access to free VIP experiences like behind the scenes tours, autographed merchandise, tickets, and more. To do that, get started at rogers.com slash Game Plus. You're hired, Devo. I bet you never imagined that this would be your life. This, be my, this is my role now. This is it. Are you a huge hockey fan? I love it, man. Okay, this good. is awesome. It's going to be so awesome this weekend. You can't keep that one, though. Sorry, oh, we're giving that away. I'm trying to tuck it away. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great time this weekend. Always Thank good to you. see you, Nick. Good seeing you. Happy New Year. Okay, sweetie. Enjoy. We're going to take a quick break. More BT right after this.